year. Uh, welcome back. Happy New Year, 2020, new decade. Um, I'm going to make a, a solid attempt to try and get some more videos in this year, guys. Sorry, been really, really busy between this studio and where I work. It's just been very hectic. So, without further ado, I want to talk to you. I've been working on a, a project uh, for a friend of mine um, in Britain. And we've been recording some guitars over Christmas. And I just wanted to go into how we uh, recorded these guitars this time because I've used a slightly different technique. Um, we weren't happy with the multi making sounds. We're using a better amp and we really liked the sound of just a single 57. We messed about, got the placement just nice, um, got the sound we wanted. But then I'm going to blend in some um, amp sims into it which I'll, I'll go into but there's a little bit of a process I've had to go through to get this and I thought I'd show you just to so that you know if you guys are just using one mic and you want to blend an amp sim I mean I always record a DI whenever I record anything I record a DI you know guitar or bass whatever um, so a lot of the reason I'll, I'll explain sorry just that a lot of the reason I do the DI is if I have to do any timing adjustments or not it's easier to see transients on a DI than it is on a distorted guitar because that's just looks like a blob basically because it's very compressed um, okay without further ado what I'll do is I'll play you a little chunk of what we're, we're working with here um, so you know what I'm talking about so this is me I've mixed in a little bit of the amp sim just to get my feel of how it's going to be but it's not the finished finished deal so I'll just let you hear a little chunk here I've sorted a loop out we can listen to it Okay, so very simple kind of pump and rock track. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to mute out one set. We've got doubled guitars, so it's two takes of the same part. And I'll center up the first one and we'll just have a listen to what the amp's doing on its own. Nice sound. We used a Fender bass breaker for this, which is a, a perfect amp for this kind of, you know, hard rock tones. You won't get much metal out of it, but for hard rock tones, it's, it's not bad at all. Um, so, what we'll do, I'll show you what we've got going on here. We have, okay, so we've got the Slate, um, or the THU amp sim thing going on here, and we worked out a kind of our own kind of preset. So we've got some... Um, We've got a gate on it, we've got a, a tube screamer, um, compressor, and then the amp we're using. How do I get this to go across? Nope, didn't want to do that. Uh, it's uh, like a, a Mesa Boogie kind of thing that we've got going on. And we're using uh, Slate's own cab. Um, so that was a little preset that I worked out that I thought would work well with these guitars just to give them a little bit more fizz and a bit more life um, excuse my phone so if we I'll bring up the volume of the amp sim and we can have a listen so without it now as you can hear it's adding a lot to that um, but there's a little bit of phase problems going on, which I'm going to come to. Now, the problem, what I've done is I've set up a, um, a folder track for this. The reason being that in the folder track, if you notice, because I've muted out these other two, I can see these two waveforms together in the same folder track. The problem is, is the DI's wave um, picture, if you like, the, the wave form in the, in the item there is quite small. So what I'm going to do is a little trick. If you hold the shift key and hit the up arrow, all the wave files will get enlarged. But you're not actually raising the volume. It's just enlarging the size of the picture of the waveform. So now when we look in here, we can get a better idea of what's going on phase-wise. So you can see the two waveforms. And if we find a kind of rather a nice big transient point somewhere, this one here. 
you can see we're kind of in phase, but there are spots um, that I found, like here, it's totally out of phase. So it's kind of, you know, like here, we're, we're out of phase, here we're out of phase. And then it kind of comes back in again. So it's not a total, you know, hit one of the phase buttons and we're, we're sorted. So what I've done is on the um, amp sim track, I've put in this phase rotator. You'll find it in the JS plugins. Just look up phase and look phase rotator. And as you can see here, you've got a phase adjustment so you can move it forwards and backwards by a certain amount of degrees. So what we'll do, I'm going to do a minus, uh, start with 45 degrees, and we'll put that there. And then what we'll have to do um, is re uh, freeze this. Um, actually, no, if we go here, I'm going to freeze the track and I'm going to freeze it mono up to the last selected effect. So that freeze our um, phase change. Unfortunately, this takes a little bit of time. Okay, so now that the phase adjustment is saved, we can go in and have a look and have a see are we any better than we were? And it's looking better. Yeah, I mean, you can see here, these are all looking pretty much in phase. And if we give it a listen, yeah, I'm happy with that. That sounds good. So we'll leave that alone. So that's our phase sorted out on that one. So what I'll do is if I go into the second lot of guitars and we shall add in the phase again. So what I'm doing is I'm going into the JS folder and I'm just going to do a search for phase. And here we have phase rotator. And I'm going to do the same and just knock that back by negative 45. Okay, so now we have them in. I'll put that before the amp sim. No real reason, I just like to have them before. Um, right, so what we can do now is we'll put these waveforms back to the, how they were. So if you just hit the, the shift and the down arrow this time until they stop moving, that's them back to their natural state. So what we can do is we can unfreeze this track. Uh, oh God, sorry. <laughs> Since the new update, some of the menus have changed a little bit and it's um, confusing me a little bit here. So we're back to where we were. So if we pan these out to their correct positions, and these are still where they are, and we bring in these two now and give it a listen. the amp sims and I'm just going to bring them in without them with them so effectively it's a form of reamping but we're just using amp sims instead of taking it out and putting it through another amp so I hope that's of use to you guys. Um, always think about your phase and check about it. A great way to test it, as I say, is with a folder track and then just select, you know, mute out everything you don't want to do or solo the files you want to zone in on. And then you can have a look up here in this uh, track here. And here you can see all the four wave forms of uh, all four guitars there. And you're, you're good to go. So I hope that's a useful tip. Um, Again, Happy New Year. Thank you for the really nice comments over Christmas and New Year there. You know who you are. Um, really appreciate it. And I'm going to make much more of an attempt to put time aside and um, make some more videos. Appreciate it, guys. See you soon. Bye now.